Yo, ladies and gentlemen, today we are going to boost our rates with just these materials. So let's get to it. Okay, so before you start thinking that I've discovered bed looting or something, I, that's not a thing. Um, this is for a very specific use case. So in last video, we talked about the fox farm that Omango built in a Skyblock world. And unfortunately, one of the downsides of my design that he ended up using is that at night, it doesn't actually spawn any foxes, and then it spawns a bunch of hostile mobs. Now in the morning, the sun takes care of the skeletons and the zombies, but then they have extra drops that we actually found out after Mango ran it uh, significantly chunk into the rates of the farm. Um, it doesn't kill the farm, but it cuts into the rates. And then you still have to wait for the spiders to despawn and they can potentially stop fox spawns. So the best way to do this, because we're using snow layers and we don't want to raise the height map, we can't use light, is to go to sleep as soon as you can, because that way mobs can't start spawning those hostile mobs. They don't have their drops. And then you don't also waste that extra time that you would have of uh, nighttime where the foxes can't spawn. Problem is, you can see as I respond here, I I can't automatically get back in the bed. So I can't AFK this because you have to actually aim back down. So what we want is when the game pops that player out facing straight ahead, we want them to actually be moved down and aimed right at the bed so that if you're just holding down your mouse button or you have a clicking script, that once it's nighttime, you'll immediately go to sleep. And then we repeat that cycle and we want to move the player back down again. Obviously, you know, I guess you could have a script to have the player look down, but at that point, it's getting a little a little wonky because we want to keep it vanilla. So you can hold down your right mouse button and then press F3 and T on your keyboard and now release everything, both your keyboard and your mouse, while this loading screen is up. And what's actually going to happen is the game is going to think you left your uh, right mouse button pressed down and it's going to still keep clicking on that. So we can see there, I'm not touching my mouse right now, but my player is still trying to sleep in the bed. So this is a way you can do this without any mods. But with very few resources available, you know, Mango already has a guardian farm, so it does have prismarine or something. But normally what you do is you use a pressure plate and a piston to push down the player so that they're in the uh, fly mode or crawl mode, whatever you want to call it. And then they're aiming at that bed. But the main thing is in this world, there's no cobblestone generators yet. Uh, Mango has to build up to villagers. And if you're following along with them and you're playing the acacia, then that means you have to go through this whole process of getting the emeralds, getting the modern trader, to get an oak, to get an apple, etc., etc. So how do we do this with just these materials? If there's a floating bed, then we're going to end up respawning on top of the bed and aimed in that direction. But what we want is we want to control the way that we're aimed at the bed and where we're spit out. So if we put a solid block next to the bed, one Y layer below the bed, we will then be spit out of the bed, facing the bed and onto that solid block right there. But now we need to get down a level. Problem is if we just put another block under here, that's now one layer off. We're just going to end up on top of the bed again. Luckily for us, boats have a hitbox that is actually bigger than a half slab. So they have this really weird height to them where if you were to set that next to a half slab, you actually stand a little higher. So if I stand on these and I walk back and forth, you can see up in my top left there with mini HUD, I'm actually going between negative 62.5 and negative 62.4. So the slab is that 0.5 and the boat is the 0.6. But that would leave us still looking under the bed. So... Let's just add these up. So this is the setup. You can see we have three boats stacked. And again, this is different types of wood. This can be any type of wood. I'm just doing that to make it easier to see rather than it being all acacia that blends in together. What we have is just one water source on top of that solid block where we're going to spit out. And then the water source pushes us back, pushes us out of this block, and then we can land right here. So if I look straight ahead and hop down into this water, boom. You can see I'm looking right at that bed when I land on top of these boats. And we just use three so that we can stack them up and get just this perfect height. So right now, Mini HUD shows me at negative 52.3. So all we need to do is hop in the water. And then once we get pushed out of the water, look at the bed. And we either turn on our clicking script or use the F3T option. In this case, I'm going to use a clicking script. And we're going to hold right click then. And then we're just going to land on the bed. I've turned off the uh, do day night cycle. So it'll stay night right now. And we can see as soon as it comes back in there, I'm ready to go back to sleep. I'll turn back on the day night cycle so that we can see what's going to happen. So I'm going to go to sleep. I'm a clicking script on. And now it's day. I land back in front of that bed and I'm just going to sit there. Keep trying to sleep in that bed until it becomes nighttime again. 
and then I'll sleep right back in the bed. We'll go to sleep before the tick hits where mobs can spawn, and then boom, it's daytime again. Now, one thing to note is technically Minecraft considers being pushed by water as walking, so eventually your hunger bar will go down, and then once again, eventually you could starve. But since we're already holding down the rice mouse button, if you just have food in your hand, then you're just going to eat uh, whenever you need to, and you're going to be just fine. So I'm going to go ahead and tick warp this. So this is 720,000 ticks. That is the equivalent of 10 hours. So right now you can see I have 63 bread. Let's run this and see how much bread I have left. So after all that time, we used up one bread. So your AFK session might use up one bread. When I realized that it was going to take saturation to be pushed by the water, I almost went back to the drawing board, but I, I think we can, I think we can live with one bread. And now it's time for the most requested thing on my channel, the block by block tutorial. So buckle in. This is this, this, uh, probably like three hours, three and a half. Okay, you can see down in my hot board the resources you need. So we have a block to start off with. I'm just gonna put down an extra block so I can place the bed with the pillow the direction that I want it. And then we're gonna put down a solid block next to the pillow. Then uh, you can use temporary blocks or you can use tweakaroo. I'm gonna use tweakaroo. So we're gonna place a slab there, a slab there. And then we're gonna come down here and we're gonna place a slab here and here. Then we can get rid of that. And then we wanna place another slab down here. So we've got this structure. We have the water is gonna go here and it's gonna flow down to here. Then we're going to put our sign there and then right on the edge of this sign. So hold shift and click on the edge of that sign is where we're going to put that one. That sign is going to hold back the water and then we can put our water down. Then we want to come underneath. We want to put some temporary blocks under there. So temporary block there, temporary block there. And then we're going to put a top half slab right there. Then you can get rid of these. We don't need those anymore. And then we just need a few more temporary blocks. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our boat down on that block and then we're just gonna drive it into place. Next one, we get back up there, put it down, drive it into place. Next one, get up there, drive it into place. These don't have to be perfectly aligned or anything as long as the player is gonna land on top of there. And then you can get rid of these temporary blocks and you're done. Now, once again, I come into the water stream, I let it push me into place and hold down that mouse button. That's going to be it for this video, ladies and gentlemen. Again, another video directly in a row that is really, really specific use case. And I know normally I like to go a little bit more broad. Um, but honestly, working on that last project, that Fox Farm, I, I love these kind of challenges of how can you do something with such limited resources. And, um, you know, you wouldn't think of one piston as limited resources. But, hey, this is a nice, fun challenge. So that's going to be it for this. I'll catch you in the next one. Have a good one. Bye.